I'm a professor of human systems engineering and that's kind of the marriage between engineering and psychology and in uh, my case I study humans uh, interacting with artificial intelligent agents or robots and how we can put them to get, assemble teams of humans AI and robots so that they can work together effectively. So I've been working in the ghost lab I've been working on developing the capabilities of the various robots we have there uh, specifically I work most on the husky which is the rover type robot which we use in the Space Challenge, and I work with Dr. Nancy Cook on that. So I work with three robots, Husky, Yumi, and Fetch, in the Ghost Lab, which is the general human and operation of systems and teams. So I do the behind the scenes of the coding to interact with the humans, as well as I also give tours of the Ghost Lab itself to anyone that Dr. Cook wants to bring in to have them see. I invite Barrett students every year to do research in my lab, so we typically will uh, have students work in my lab in their junior year, thinking about starting a project, and then that gets them started, and then in their senior year, they'll typically work on an honors thesis. So I'm in the um, Chart HRI lab, the Human Robot Interactions lab. I work with PhD students, uh, specifically working on things like uh, trust developed between humans and artificial intelligence in an urban search and rescue environment. Getting into this research, um, it was actually just responding to a stray email that I found from a, a Barrett um, outreach coordinator uh, that recommended that I check this out. I, I checked it out, I talked to some people within the lab and then that eventually led to an interview and then I liked what I saw and I met some of the people so I ended up joining the team. So in the Space Challenge project, what my role was, was working on the rover type robot. And so that was just a smaller part of kind of like an interconnection uh, network of robots. So it was, it's really a human systems engineers experiment. My part of it is about the rover and you know, they give me things that go wrong. I'm having to communicate with um, what we call NASA Commission Control. So it, it's, it was really interesting for me to see how this network of communications and what my role would be in that if I ever worked you know, in a space setting where I'd be working on rovers. So we had graduate students kind of mentoring the undergraduate students and they would take topics. The topic in general was on team cognition, how do teams think basically as a team. And uh, we raised lots of questions and pushed the boundaries of a lot of the research and ended up with a paper that's uh, titled From Teams to Teamness, Future Directions in the Study of Team Cognition. It's been a great experience that I'm you know, able to work on these high-end robots I otherwise you know, wouldn't ha have access to. I've really enjoyed just working in the lab. It's a great hands-on experience that I think um, you can't get too many other places. I think it's a great way to um, learn about what research is, like the ins and outs, the testing procedures, the, the meetings, uh, what you see on TV, like a research assistant in a lab coat, but it's, it's a lot more like sitting behind a computer, you know, discussing tactics and, and, and research questions and stuff like that. I think it's more, uh, it, it gains some realism and it, some familiarity with the field that you'll end up being in. The skills that I have now are going to get me a job and some of those skills that I have learned have been from this lab like I have I have industrial robots on my resume and robotics opera operating system which is all stuff that I learned here in this lab. I think students should do research because it allows them to solve open-ended problems it's not just a small problem in the back of the book it's actually going out there and applying what you know and working developing the new knowledge, being innovative. But I would still say this to everyone, we've got unique faculty all through Barrett. Work with those faculty, work with the faculty um, in your college as well on an honors thesis. I mean, the great thing about ASU is that it's so encompassing that you can always find someone in, in your research uh, area or realm.